In the annals of American entrepreneurship, a titan emerges. A visionary whose unwavering determination and innovative spirit would forever reshape the landscape of global retail. This titan, Samuel Moore Walton, laid the foundation for an empire that would come to redefine the very concept of wealth and influence. One dynasty reigned supreme in the rarefied echelons of American wealth and influence. The Walton family. Their staggering fortune, an empire forged from the foundations of Walmart, the world's largest retailer, has secured their place as the wealthiest family in the nation. An astonishing 45% of Walmart's stock is a closely guarded treasure held by seven heirs of the visionary founders, Sam Walton and his brother Bud. These scions stand as the torchbearers of a legacy that has transcended mere commercial success, ascending to the heights of financial dominance. It was in the year 1962 that Sam Walton's vision took tangible form with the establishment of the first Walmart store. These humble beginnings belied the audacious ambition that burned within Walton. Fueled by a philosophy that prioritized rural markets, uncompromising cost efficiency, and unrelenting pursuit of high volume. It was a blueprint that would propel Walmart to unprecedented heights, cementing its status as the world's largest retailer. Among the heirs, three luminaries shine brightest, Rob, Jim, and Alice, the surviving children of the patriarch, Sam Walton. Joined by Christy, the daughter-in-law whose union has fortified the dynasty, and her son Lucas, a new generation poised to carry the mantle. Bud's daughters, Anne and Nancy, complete this constellation of power, their influence extending far beyond retail. Rob Walton, the scion who once held the reins as chairman for over two decades, remains a formidable presence on the board. Beside him stands Greg Penner, the current chairman and Rob's son-in-law, a strategic alliance that binds the bloodlines of power. And in a testament to the family's enduring dominion, Rob's nephew, Stuart, commands a seat at the table of influence. The Walton Family Foundation, established in 1987, represents an enduring commitment to the family's legacy. Its mission, a tripartite endeavor, encompasses improvement of K-12 education, the preservation of rivers and oceans, and the unwavering support for the community that cradled the dynasty's origins, Northwest Arkansas. Yet beyond its philanthropic endeavors, the foundation serves as a strategic instrument, facilitating the family's financial planning through the donation of billions of dollars worth of Walmart shares, simultaneously navigating estate tax intricacies and solidifying their long-term influence. As Walmart ascended, so too did the fortunes of the Walton dynasty. With a strategic acumen that defied convention, they retained a significant ownership stake in the company through Walton Enterprises, ensuring the perpetual stream of dividends and ever-increasing net worth, a reflection of the company's soaring stock prices. Even today, the Walton's family grip on the retail behemoth remains unshakable. Through the Walton Pinner Family Ownership Group, they command ownership of nearly half of Walmart shares. This formidable coalition extends beyond the direct descendants of Sam Walton, encompassing extended family members such as Gregory Penner, the current chairman of Walmart, whose marriage to Sam Walton's granddaughter has solidified his position within the dynasty's inner circle. As the summer of 2023 dawns, the combined net worth of the Walton family stands as a staggering testament to their unbridled success. An estimated $250 billion, a figure that elevates them to the rarefied echelons of the world's wealthiest families. While their ownership in Walmart remains the primary wellspring of their affluence, the Walton dynasty has diversified its holdings through the formidable Walton Enterprises and the Walton Family Foundation. Yet the Walton Empire knows no bounds, its tentacles reaching into the realms of sport and spectacle. In a move that shook the foundations of the sporting world, a coalition led by Rob Penner and Rob's daughter, Carrie Walton Penner, acquired the NFL's Denver Broncos for a record-shattering $4.7 billion in 2022, a testament to their insatiable ambition. In the annals of American entrepreneurship, few narratives capture the essence of the nation's indomitable spirit like the Walton family's remarkable ascent. From humble origins, this dynasty has etched an indelible mark upon the global economic landscape, and its name is synonymous with the colossal retail empire that is Walmart. 
As we delve into this extraordinary clan's chronicles, we witness a saga that transcends commercial triumph. It is a testament to the transformative power of unwavering determination, an homage to the American dream, and a study of enduring virtues of family, unity, and uncompromising vision. I salute you, sir, for your vision, and I am proud to give you your nation's highest civilian honor. Born in the heartland of America, Samuel Robson Walton's journey began in an era when opportunity and hardship coexisted as constant companions. It was within this crucible that the seeds of his entrepreneurial zeal were sown, a zeal that would ultimately reshape the fabric of modern retail. With an unwavering belief in affordability and accessibility, Walton founded Walmart in 1962 a single store in Arkansas that would soon become the vanguard of a retail revolution. His philosophy, rooted in providing value to customers, swiftly propelled Walmart into a behemoth that redefined the shopping experience for millions across the globe. Sam. Good to see you, Nancy. If you were around Sam, the thing that most impressed you was this, this humility that caused people to be drawn to him. If you walk around the visitor center, what you'll see so many times is he has his hand. As the torch was passed to the next generation, the Walton children, Jim, John, Rob, and Alice, embraced their father's vision with an enthusiasm that defied convention. Inheriting a vast fortune and a profound sense of responsibility, they embarked upon a quest to cement their family's name among the pantheon of business titans. Each sibling carved a unique path, lending their talents and insights to the expansion of the Walmart empire. Jim devoted himself to philanthropy, channeling the family's resources into initiatives that uplifted communities and fostered education. Rob assumed the mantle of governance, guiding Walmart's strategic direction through periods of unparalleled growth. Alice, an arts patron, established the world-renowned Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, a testament to her family's commitment to cultural preservation. Their collective net worth, an astounding $225 billion, is a staggering figure that belies the humble nature of these individuals. In an age where opulence is often flaunted, the Walmart heirs remain grounded, preferring to lead lives of quiet simplicity, embracing the values that forged their dynasty. In a stunning display of wealth accumulation, the three heirs to the Walmart empire have seen their personal fortunes swell to unprecedented heights in recent years. Rob Jim and Alice Walton, the surviving children of the retail giant's visionary founder, Sam Walton, now find themselves among the uppermost echelons of the world's wealthiest individuals. Their meteoric rise to staggering riches has been fueled by the surge of Walmart stock which recently reached a historic zenith, soaring to unprecedented levels. This remarkable feat has propelled the Walton Trio into the rarefied air of the global elite, with their combined net worth now surpassing even that of the illustrious Elon Musk, who sits at the lofty perch of the world's second wealthiest person. The Walton's collective fortune, a staggering $225 billion, is a testament to the enduring legacy of their father's visionary leadership and the relentless growth of the retail behemoth he founded. Each sibling now boasts a personal wealth ranging from $70 billion to an astonishing $77 billion, more than double their respective fortunes just seven years ago. This colossal accumulation of riches has been driven by the unwavering demand for Walmart's offerings and the market's growing optimism that interest rates will be cut, averting an economic recession. The company's stock has skyrocketed from a mere $75 in 2016 to an unprecedented high of $181 this week, a surge that has only added to the Walton's already unfathomable wealth. Over the years, the Walton Trio has reaped the rewards of their stake in the retail juggernaut, garnering a staggering $45 billion in stock sales and dividends. Together with their extended family, they hold a commanding 45% stake in the company, a behemoth with a market capitalization approaching half a trillion dollars. 
In a remarkable display of dynastic wealth, the Waltons as a collective entity were valued at a breathtaking $267 billion in mid-January, more than twice the net worth of the illustrious Mars dynasty, which ranks as America's second wealthiest family. It is a striking reality that the founding family of a publicly traded company of such immense scale as Walmart retains such a substantial ownership stake, with several members seated on the company's board. This level of control and influence is a rarity among the ultra-wealthy, as many prefer to keep their enterprises private, a path chosen by esteemed dynasties such as Mars, Coke Industries, Cargill, Fidelity, Publix, Chick-fil-A, and others. The Waltons ascent to the pinnacle of wealth is a testament to the enduring power of their father's vision and the unwavering success of the retail empire he created a dynasty that continues to rewrite the annals of wealth and influence in the modern era. Through the maelstrom of controversy, one truth remains inviolable. Sam Walton, the architect of Walmart's remarkable success, has etched an indelible legacy that has profoundly reshaped the retail industry. His life, a tapestry woven by the threads of relentless innovation and unwavering commitment to customer satisfaction, stands as a beacon of entrepreneurial excellence. Walton's strategies, from his emphasis on operational efficiency and economics of scale, to his strategic deployment of store locations, catapulted Walmart to the forefront of global retail. And even as time marches on, his 10 simple rules for business success continue to guide Walmart's operations, a testament to the enduring wisdom that fueled the dynasty's ascent to dominance. Among the ranks of the illustrious Walton dynasty, Alice Walton stands as a towering figure, renowned for her fervent passion for the arts and her unwavering commitment to cultural preservation. Her devotion to these noble pursuits has manifested itself in a truly remarkable endeavor, the creation of the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. This modern-day cultural marvel stands as a testament to Alice Walton's vision, housing a world-class collection of American artworks that span the ages, a veritable feast for the senses and a tribute to the enduring spirit of a nation. Within its hallowed halls, one can bear witness to the masterworks of some of the most celebrated artists in history, from the breathtaking canvases of Georgia O'Keeffe to the provocative abstractions of Mark Rothko and the quintessentially American scenes captured by the legendary Edward Hopper. Yet Alice Walton's cultural vision extends far beyond the confines of the past, embracing the contemporary voices that shape the artistic discourse of our time. The museum's walls are graced by the powerful and thought-provoking words of Kehinde Wiley and Titus Kafar, artists whose canvases challenge societal norms and provoke introspection. The acquisition of these priceless treasures has been a labor of love for Alice Walton, with individual works commanding staggering sums ranging from $44.5 million to a breathtaking billion dollars, a testament to the depth of her commitment and boundless nature of her passion. In this pursuit, Alice Walton stands as a shining example of the enduring legacy of the Walton family, one that transcends mere financial success and extends into the realms of cultural enrichment and artistic patronage. Her brothers Rob and Jim have likewise embraced the mantle of their father's vision, each carving their own paths to greatness while simultaneously nurturing their personal philanthropic endeavors. Together, these three titans of industry and champions of the human spirit have woven an indelible tapestry, one that intertwines the threads of entrepreneurial prowess, artistic appreciation, and a steadfast dedication to improving the world around them. Their collective journey stands as a beacon of inspiration, illuminating the boundless potential of those who dare to dream and possess the unwavering determination to transform those dreams into reality feel that connection, and there's a special connection in this uh, third generation. Yet even Titans are not immune to the tribulations that accompany greatness. The Walton family has faced its share of controversies, from allegations of unfair labor practices and anti-union tactics, to concerns over the impact of Walmart's aggressive expansion on small businesses and local economies. In these challenges, we witness the complexities accompanying immense power and influence. The Walton family stands at a crossroads, where the pursuit of profitability must be balanced against the moral imperatives of corporate social responsibility and ethical leadership. 
Yet, as is often the case with colossal wealth and power, the Walton dynasty has found itself ensnared in a web of controversies and criticisms. Walmart, the very embodiment of their success, has faced accusations of unethical practices, labor violations, and a disregard for the well-being of its employees. The Walton family has drawn the ire of those who view their immense wealth as a tool for exerting undue influence on the political and social landscape, a perception that has fueled debates around the boundaries of entrepreneurial ambition and societal responsibility. As we reflect upon the Walton family's extraordinary journey, we are reminded of the enduring lessons that can be gleaned from their triumphs and tribulations. The tale of Walmart's ascent is a masterclass in strategic vision, cost-effectiveness, and an unwavering commitment to delivering value to customers. It's a blueprint for how audacious ambition, coupled with calculated execution, can redefine industries and reshape the global marketplace. Yet the true legacy of the Walton family extends far beyond commerce. It serves as a poignant reminder that great wealth carries a profound responsibility to uplift communities, empower the disenfranchised, and champion causes that transcend the pursuit of profit. In the end, the Walton family saga is one that transcends the realms of mere commerce, embodying the indomitable spirit of American enterprise and the transformative power of visionary leadership. Their legacy, etched in the annals of history, stands as a beacon of possibility, a reminder that greatness can indeed spring forth from the humblest of origins, forever altering the trajectory of industries and shaping the contours of our world. As the Walton dynasty stands poised to write the next chapter in its saga, the world watches with bated breath. In their actions, we may uncover the secrets to harmonizing economic might with social conscience, forging a path others may follow to pursue a more equitable and sustainable future. In the annals of modern commerce, Walmart stands as a towering colossus, its vast empire spanning nearly every corner of the globe. With such immense power and influence, however, comes an equally profound responsibility, a moral obligation to wield its might in a manner that upholds the highest ethical standards and safeguards the well-being of those upon whose labor its vast fortune is built. Yet, the retail behemoth's treatment of its workforce has faced intense scrutiny, igniting impassioned debates that strike at the very core of corporate ethics and social responsibility. The specter of alleged labor practices that some decry as exploitative has cast a pall over the company's meteoric rise, raising profound questions about the true cost of unbridled capitalism. In this crucible of controversy, Walmart stands at a crossroads. Faced with a pivotal decision that will shape not only its own destiny, but also the very fabric of modern society. Will it embrace the mantle of corporate stewardship, demonstrating an unwavering commitment to fostering positive social impact and uplifting the lives of those who toil within its ranks? Or will it succumb to the relentless pursuit of profit, turning a blind eye to the plight of its workers and perpetuating a cycle of inequity that threatens to undermine the very foundations of a just and equitable society. The path forward is fraught with complexity, but the imperative is clear. Walmart must rise to the challenge and become a beacon of hope, a shining example of how even the mightiest of corporate titans can wield their power with compassion, empathy, and a steadfast dedication to the betterment of all. It's a clarion call that echoes throughout the halls of power, a resounding demand for accountability and an unwavering commitment to upholding the inalienable rights of every human being. For it is only through such principled actions that true progress can be achieved and the promise of a more just and equitable world can be realized. In this pivotal moment, the eyes of the world are upon Walmart and the burden of responsibility weighs heavily upon its shoulders. It's a reckoning that cannot be ignored, a call to arms that must be answered with resolve, courage, and an unwavering commitment to the highest ideals of corporate citizenship. For in the end, it's not merely the fortunes of a single company that hang in the balance, but the very soul of our society and the hope for a brighter, more just tomorrow.